we just you can't get it anyplace else nobody else is covering this the way we are why would the biden cram crime family be using hunter as their bag man in their international pay to play scheme now, Joe Biden has said his son Hunter has done nothing but good things his whole life. Per an article in the Daily Mail back in February of this year. But the man is an addict. The man is a mess. For years, he's been in and out of rehab clinics. Joe has admitted this. He's got a crack habit. He's documented his sleazy existence in videos, which he has posted for all the world to see. And still the Biden family attempts to cover it up. And not only is Hunter Biden a mess, so is his sister Ashley Biden, who has a diary out there, a diary in which she says she's been sexually abused. She said she had to take showers with her father, Joe. We've known what Joe's all been all about for years. We know that. This is a fact. This is not made up out of whole cloth. And now this sordid tale of Hunter Biden's Pornhub account tells you just about everything you need to know about this immoral and compromised Biden family, not to mention Joe Biden's judgment. This man is a liability and could be subject to blackmail by the Chinese government. More and more information continues to come out every day. People are out there speculating, saying things like, how could I change my vote? There are people that actually have already voted in this presidential election who want to change their vote. And they certainly don't want to change it to Joe Biden. They want to change it from Joe Biden to Donald J. Trump because of the sleaziness of all of this, which you are witnessing right here. All right? Absolutely incredible. And again, as I, as I mentioned earlier, the Department of Justice has confirmed that Hunter Biden and Associates are under FBI criminal investigation focused on money laundering. All right. Uh, this uh, particular Justice Department official said the FBI probe into Hunter Biden's international dealings was launched late last year and the investigation continues to be active. Sinclair investigative reporter James Rosen has also spoken with a central witness in these allegations, which suggests that former Vice President Joe Biden knew more than he has acknowledged about his son's overseas dealings. Tony Bobolinsky was thrust into the national spotlight in the evening of the final presidential debate Fox Illinois reports, quote, it was, on the, it was on that night, the former business associate of Hunter Biden claimed Democratic nominee Joe Biden knew about his son taking payments from Chinese and Ukrainian companies and strongly suggested he got a kickback. Bobolinsky discussed why he feels if elected, Biden would be compromised by the Chinese government and much more in an exclusive interview with James Rosen. Bobolinsky said the compromise they have is that in documents that have been well provided to the Senate, to Congress, to the Department of Justice via the FBI, that CEFC was effectively loaning money directly to the Biden family. So this is Folks, this is huge. Now, when asked if China may be in possession of any potential evidence that could help shed light on these claims, Bobolinsky said the country might have information 
on Biden's business dealings across the entire globe. Across the entire globe. He said, I can only imagine to the extent that the Chinese Communist Party has information on the Biden family and their business dealings. Other business dealings that occurred in Romania, Kazakhstan, Georgia, Monaco, and the Middle East, and then obviously topping off in Russia. Bobolinsky said he decided to speak out publicly when he heard Representative Adam Schiff and other Democrats who suggested these allegations were part of a Russian disinformation campaign. Before that, Bobolinsky noted that it was the impeachment proceedings against President Donald Trump that was the spark that made him want to gather his information and provide it to the authorities. Wow. Absolutely. So we're going to get into all of this in just a couple of moments with our Friday guest, John Carmen, former Secret Service agent, former customs agent, former private investigator. He has a lot of information to provide. And we're going to get into all of that only for Dark Outpost Inner Circle members. So if you are not a member of the Dark Outpost Inner Circle, you should be. 